I've already filed for our marriage, and I'm guessing you know what that means. You know I'm a girl, right? What? Trouble Busters! My name is Marion. I'm 27 and I work at a lawyer's office. Today I'm going to attend my high school reunion party. It's been a while since I last saw Helen. I'm so excited. Marion! <laughs> Did you remember me? S sorry, who were you again? Hey, hey, now come on. Sure, we've never been in the same class, but you should at least remember my face and name, right? It's me, Richard! Uh, oh, so it is, Richard. I don't remember you. You don't? You don't remember me? God damn! But just remember this. It'll only be for now that you'll keep that calm composure, all right? Take a look at this. Are those marriage registration forms? Well, yeah, it is. Feeling defeated yet? So you're getting married? Congratulations. No, that's not it. Look closely at my fiancé's section. What? H Helen's name is written there. Ah, so you finally noticed. Serves you right. I stole your wife. I've already filed for our marriage, and I'm guessing you know what that means. Wait. Wait a second, what are you talking about? What does your marriage have to do with me? It just seems so insane. I, I'm having trouble keeping up. Of course it has something to do with you. I'm telling you to release Helen. Release? I'm only getting more confused. It's illegal for one wife to have many husbands, and we're not a minority group living in Polynesia. Please, wait a minute and calmly explain what you mean. To begin with, I'm not married to anyone yet. Don't lie. Are you trying to sympathize with me? Trying to tell you that I'm the one finding happiness instead of you? You stupid, annoying prick. What are you trying to do, huh? With your appearance, there's no way you're not married. What kind of prejudice? You judge people by their appearance way too much. Anyway, I'm not one to be fooled. You two have been flirting like newlyweds since you were students, weren't you? Saying you're not married despite that is a complete lie. And now I'm telling you to divorce her, and I expect you to frickin' get a divorce now! Damn it, man. How can I explain it to make you understand? Oh, Marion! Helen! Did I make you wait? Sorry about that. The traffic was something, let me tell you. <laughs> Uh, Helen, you weren't supposed to be here today, were you? At first I wasn't planning on participating, but the plans I had made in advance were cancelled, so I decided to participate after all. More to the point, though. Um, sorry, but who were you again? Uh, it's only just started, but you seem very drunk. Damn, your jokes are as harsh as ever, I see. <laughs> and that's also an indecent way to treat your husband. H husband what, what the hell do you mean? Huh? But you married Richard, didn't you? What? I didn't. I didn't. I don't remember marrying this man at all. What in the... What's going on here? Explain yourself, Richard. You better explain, Richard. Even I don't have a goddamn clue. I get it. I get it. Helen, I'll tell you now. Just as such, you and I, we are destined to never be apart again. What is that? Marriage forms? I don't remember writing something like that. It's fine. I've already submitted them to the city hall. Now all that's left to do is for you to cut ties with that bastard Marion, and it'll be perfect. Enough with the bullshit. There's no way I'm going to cut ties with Marion. But even more than that, the frick are you on about? Submitted them to city hall. Marriage registration forms? Yep, that's right. It was accepted without any problem. What the? You did this without my permission. You, you bastard. I don't even know you. Apparently, this guy called Richard submitted his marriage registration without Helen's permission. Moreover, it seems that she'd never even met the guy. Or even if she did, their relationship was very superficial. I will never forgive him for making my best friend cry. Troublebusters, initiate. You don't even know me? Come now, honey, what do you mean? It's me, Richard. We were classmates in the first year, weren't we? I'm sorry, but I don't remember you at all. Seriously? Damn, that's quite a shock. You managed to forget such an impactful face. But no matter, we've filed our marriage registration. No matter how hard you deny it, this is the undeniable reality. Helen is mine. Richard, are you actually serious about that? If you submit a marriage registration form without the other party's consent... 
I know what Helen really thinks. I'm doing this for her sake. Just shut up and hand her over. You're such an unreasonable bastard. You know I'm a girl, right? What? No, no matter how you look at it, you have to be a guy. I'm a girl, buddy. I've always acted boyish, I admit, but Marion is definitely a girl. Even you, Helen? You lie! Oh, oh, I get it. You're lying and saying you're a girl to take her away to a hotel afterward. The hell is that tactic? <laughs> I won't fall for it. I've been watching Helen for the whole three years of high school. Marion, you were always by her side. Of course I was. I was her best friend, after all. You still are, Marion. Of course we are. I just couldn't get any closer to Helen because of you, you dickhead. Because of me? Are you saying I was in the way? Yeah, you were in the way. It's the worst having a good-looking guy like you by her side all the time. Helen's eyes became accustomed to attractiveness, and she wouldn't even look at a guy who was below average. Can't you just stop being a frickin' jerk? Just how rude do you intend to be to a lady, huh? I'm freaking telling you that claiming you're a girl won't freaking work. You think I don't remember? You were always wearing pants at school. She just preferred slacks over skirts. That's literally all she did. What? At our high school, it was okay to wear either slacks or skirts as a girl. Sure, there were no boys who wore skirts, but there were a few girls who wore slacks, like me. You lie! I won't believe you. You're all just freaking ganging up against me and tricking me. Damn all you bitches making a fool out of me just because I'm drunk. We aren't making a fool out of you. We're just telling the truth. Shut up. Shut the hell up. Just do as I say. It doesn't matter if you're a man or a woman. Just get the frick away from Helen. Helen, come hither, darling. You're mine now, legally. Hell no. Don't say stupid things so loudly. I can't believe you have the guts to say she's yours legally. Huh? I'll let you know, Richard. You'll most certainly receive a prison sentence, so prepare for that. Wait, a prison sentence? What the? Have you never heard of that? A prison sentence is when a person who committed a terrible crime is put in prison and forced to work for a set period. Don't make fun of me. You know I know what a prison sentence is. Why the hell should I have to go through with that? Because, Richard, you filled out the marriage registration form without Helen's consent, didn't you? Helen, is that correct? That marriage registration form, Helen, you didn't write it, did you? I definitely didn't. The only time I wrote a marriage registration was when I decided to marry my current husband. That current husband is me! No, you're not! Stop this now! He is a wonderful husband that I found after a lot of hard work. Even if there was someone I had a good feeling with for a long time, I would get dumped and everything would be ruined. My husband is the one person I finally managed to marry. Am I going to keep quiet after being torn apart over my dead body? Thank you for your painful confession, Helen. Based on your testimony, you definitely didn't write it. Listen up, Richard. If you get someone else to sign and seal the marriage registration without their consent, you'll possibly be charged with forgery of an official document, you see. Forgery of a... Yep. Forgery of an official document. Those forms you submitted, you were the one who wrote them both, weren't you, Richard? So what if I did? There was even a family seal on it, but how did you manage that? You shouldn't be able to use her family seal as you please. You could buy as many seals as you want around here. So it's a seal that was prepared illegally without the person's consent? You prepared and used my seal without my permission? I don't believe this. You literally cannot use someone else's seal or signature to complete a marriage registration form. That is inducement to forgery of documents, and you can be sentenced to up to seven years in prison. Y you lie! You're trying to trick me again! I'm sorry, but this is not a lie. You're just so goddamn paranoid. No, it's a lie. I didn't learn about that at school. True, we didn't learn about forgery in class in high school, but think about it using your two brain cells and some common sense. It's insane. Yes, yes, yes. If there's no problem with using someone else's seal just like that, then why bother having a seal in the first place? Helen is absolutely right. And also, Richard, you've already submitted those marriage registration forms to City Hall, right? Hell yeah, I did. Of course, uh, I would submit after I wrote them. 
this is the worst. To be forced to get married without my consent? Oh, Helen, don't cry. Oh, you poor soul. Richard even submitting a forged marriage registration form to City Hall is a federal crime. Even submitting them is a crime? Yep, it's called uttering counterfeit official documents, and likewise, the punishment is up to seven years in prison. There's nothing you can do. You will certainly be tried by the law. N no way! D that's a lie! You're lying! If you think it's a lie, do some damned research, buddy. Don't be fooled, Richard. Get a grip on yourself. Remember it all well, the happy days with Helen. Believe in yourself! You've always protected Helen now, haven't you? You've always protected me? W what does that mean? Explain yourself properly. Take it all literally! I have eliminated all the men who dared approach you so that no evil insects will latch onto you and siphon your life! That's why she's going to remain pure forever! Y you eliminated all the men who approached me. All those people, the ones who I thought were the one disappearing from before me were... All thanks to my efforts. It is quite difficult, you know, looking for their weaknesses, getting a hold of them, eventually talking to them. But it was all worth it for the happiness of me and you, Helen. It wasn't a hard job at all. What kind of slime bag? If I'm being followed around by that, I will never be happy. I shall make you happy, darling. After all, you and I are already married. The guy at City Hall said congratulations. Oh. <laughs> it's only natural that the City Hall staff in charge would congratulate you, you gruesome swine. They didn't know the circumstances under which those marriage registration curses were submitted. They look at the documents, and if there are no formal defects, they'll be accepted even if you go alone to submit them. What should I do, Marion? What in the world should I do? I hate the idea of being redirected to another man like this. It'll be fine, Helen. In a situation like this, there are two things to consider. One is to legally confirm that the marriage registration is invalid. The other is to pursue justice against the person who committed these heinous crimes. J justice against? Of course. After doing all that, there's no way you won't be held accountable. Starting right now, Helen will apply to the court for mediation and confirmation of the invalidity of the marriage. Invalid marriage? Mediation and confirmation of the invalidity of the marriage. This is the procedure for settling this through negotiations with you, who filed the marriage registration forms without her consent. We will discuss and confirm that this marriage is invalid. I see. I see. If we discuss it and come to an agreement, then the marriage is invalid. Are you freaking stupid? There's no way I would agree to that. Helen is mine forever, because I know everything full well. You've always thought about me. What? What are you suddenly saying? Oh, don't be embarrassed, darling. I can feel it all the time. Your gaze, full of love for me. From the time I wake up in the morning until I go to sleep at night, there's not a single second that goes by without feeling your gaze. Creepiness has gone overboard. God damn. Believe me, Marion, I would never look at this disgusting snob a second of my life. Of course I believe you. That is simply not normal. No, it's not. Helen, I have no intention of making you suffer. Everything I've done, all the strings I pulled, were for your happiness. If you truly think of her happiness, bucko, then you should just shut the frick up, man up, and admit that this marriage is invalid. No, that's frickin' wrong. There's no other way Helen will be happy unless she's together with me. What the hell is wrong with you? This stoicism. Help me, Marion. This has gotten out of hand. If we don't do something about it now, Richard might end up haunting you for the rest of your life. If he does that, my life will be in shambles. She was right. If things stayed this way, her life and happiness would be in huge trouble. More to the point, her life has already changed drastically since she lost so many wonderful boyfriends. And as her best friend and as a lawyer, I have to do something about it. Richard, in addition to the crimes of forgery of official documents and uttering counterfeit official documents, you will be charged with another crime. It's the crime of making false entries in an original electromagnetic notarized document. Shut the frick up with all that. Speak English. English! 
It's a crime of submitting a forged document and having a government official change the family register. There is no way that a marriage that was established after so many criminal acts like this can be recognized. If we take you to court, you'll certainly lose the battle. Who cares about that? Should it come to that, I'll steal Helen and run away as far as the eye can see. I'll live alone together with her at the end of the world where no one dare tread. Wouldn't that be nice, Helen? Together with me, you'll come, right? Not gonna happen. Don't come near me. Please stop with these disgusting delusions. You better stop this nonsense, Richard. You better not stop trying to interfere with the relationship between Helen and her husband. And that stupid current husband of hers is you? How many times do I have to tell you it's not me? Uh, but I looked it up myself. Her husband's name is Marion. Not this Marion. Not this Marion? Not this Marion. My husband and my best friend here are both named Marion. But this Marion is a girl. A guy named Marion? Of course there are guys with that name. It's one of the most common names that can be given to both boys and girls. I guess her husband looks very similar to me from behind, too, so I guess you accidentally mistook him for me. Shut up! I don't care which Marion it is. I'm the one who'll make Helen happy. Can you really do that? Depending on the situation, you'll have to be prepared to spend more than 10 years in prison. Can she really be happy if she marries someone like that? More than 10 years? Is it really that surprising? It seems like you don't understand the gravity of the crimes you committed. If it's gonna be 10 years, so be it. There's a chance it could be longer, too. If we investigate a stalker like you, you probably committed even more crimes anyhow. My feelings for Helen are real. You don't understand how much I love her. You're right, I don't understand. But I don't want to make her suffer anymore at all. Oh, it seems like they just came. Thank Frick. They came? Who's they? Who, who came? Why, the police, of course. What? Hey, wait a minute. I haven't done anything wrong. This guy is involved in several crimes, including forgery of an official document. I must request that the investigation be carried out thoroughly. Ah, Helen! Help me! Helen! Goodbye. Don't you dare show yourself to me again. After that, Richard's and Helen's marriage was invalidated, and Helen was once again married to her true husband. All of Richard's crimes were confirmed, and he was sentenced to several years in prison. It'll be fine when he gets out, because we'll get a restraining order from the court against him, so he legally can't bother you again. Thank you, Marion. I thought I should have my best friend as a lawyer. <laughs> Maybe you should get married, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No matter what happens in the future, I'll protect my best friends with all my power. I swore to her shining smile that I would do so. Trouble Busters!